Uh, okay, so let's take a look at some calculus stuff. I just want to talk real quick about how to find the derivative, how to evaluate the derivative at a given x value, how to solve for when the derivative equals zero, and finally to plot all of these things. So our standard libraries we're importing, uh, and I just define three arbitrary functions that one is a polynomial, uh, one has a trig function, and one is a combination of exponentials and trigonometric functions here. Uh, after defining those functions, we will remind, uh, we'll create this symbol x. Remember that we're working, first I'm just going to symbolically find the derivatives of these functions. So I have to tell it that I'm working with symbols here. And then uh, fi next, this is how SymPy will find a derivative of a function. Just SymPy.diff, the function, and the variable. Now I added the pprint so they look pretty and they're easy to read. Derivative of f is 25x uh, to the fourth minus 6x. Derivative of g is a little more complicated, 20x to the fourth minus 1 times the cosine of 4x to the fifth minus x. And the derivative of h is 6x to the fifth times sine of x to the sixth plus 2x times e to the x squared. Okay, similarly, I could have just defined functions um, using that, the symbolic differentiation uh, here. I, I did this so that we could see them pretty printed, but this works just the same. And then if I evaluate the derivative, for example, the derivative of f uh, of x, I get 25x to the fourth minus 6x. Um, if I want to evaluate this derivative at, say, x equals 2, I can use the substitute method so it's 388. This tells me that function is increasing when x is 2. And if I want to know when this expression equals 0, I can use SymPy's solve command and find that when the derivative equals 0 here. Now I got four numbers. There's four zeros. These are four different numbers. But these last two are imaginary. I can tell by the i in them. These are uh, two imaginary roots. So dealing with a polynomial like this, maybe you remember from high school sometimes uh, quadratics, the quadratic formula, you'd have a negative number under the square root that gives you an imaginary value. We aren't worried about those right now. We're just worried about these two, the real numbers. And if I want to check, I can just go ahead and substitute these values into the derivative. It should give me zero or something fairly close to zero. Sure enough for this the cubed root of 30 over 5, I get an incredibly small number. And at x equals 0, I get 0. Again, I just substituted the values that I that SymPy told me where the derivative is equal to 0 back into the equation to check to see that these were 0. Finally, let's draw a plot. So now I'm going to be dealing with numbers. So I, I go back in and I just copy and paste and, and change my functions to NumPy. Uh, instead of SymPy. Um, I want to get a feel for where to plot, so or uh, what x values to create. So I wanted to know what this number is um, and evaluate this. Okay, 0.6, not bad. So then I can just go from negative 1 to 1, and I should see both of my horizontal tangents. Create a figure. Plot the function. Uh, I have a vertical axis bar here as a reference. And then I'm also going to plot the two points that we said there should be horizontal tangents at. So here is the x coordinate, here's the y coordinate, the function evaluated at that point, and I just make a circle marker there. Same thing with 0, f of 0. Okay, so here's our plot. Here's where we should have horizontal tangents. If indeed we do, then everything should work out. And I can actually draw a horizontal line at that y value using the uh, x h line.
command and just enter this is where I want you to draw that horizontal line I'll draw a, a, a dashed line and there we go here it is and if we want to zoom in zoom in looks pretty good zoom in 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 okay that's it